Real beauty is not applied, it's activated. You won't find it in a needle or a moisturizer, it's inside you. Aging begins at a cellular level. And when you understand it, you are now on your way to reversing it. Today, we're talking about stem cells. Learning how to activate and protect them may be the single most potent age reversal tool out there. Hello, my name is Nadia Van Chakroon, your guide to better skin naturally. After nearly three decades in the beauty industry, I've seen countless miracle creams come and go. I've decided to dig deep into the science and our biology, understand it, and bring you all my findings. Also put together the cleanest and healthiest curation of skincare and wellness products on the beautydoctrine.com with guides, courses, you name it, resources to get you on the right track to healthier aging from the inside out and the outside in. When it comes to stem cells, I'm here to tell you the beauty industry has it all wrong. This is a video you're gonna want to save and share. I'm breaking down what stem cells really are, why stem cells creams are not going to do what they promise, and how you can actually support your body to make its own stem cells. I'll have a sip of my collagen coffee while I wait on you to subscribe and hit that bell button. If you just subscribed, thank you and welcome. So what are stem cells? Stem cells are the master repair cells in your body. They can transform into anything your body needs to repair. A stem cell can become a nerve cell, it can become a muscle cell, a skin cell, a joint cell. If you get a cut, stem cells are the repair crew that become collagen, skin cells, anything you need to heal that cut. If you need to recover from stress, stem cells are doing the work, you get it. Here's the catch. As we age, those stem cells decline. By midlife, the number of circulating stem cells is dramatically lowered. That's one of the key reasons why aging accelerates. We start seeing thinner skin, slower healing, and less resilience overall. So let's stop blaming the sun for our aging. What do we need to do instead? Get more stem cells into circulation. But first, let's get into the truth about those stem cell creams. In fact, I have one right here. You'll find it on thebeautydoctrine.com. It is plant stem cell repair cream. The good thing here is that it says plant stem cell. We cannot expect plant stem cells to become human stem cells. They have a function to serve, but that function is not to promote or replace your own stem cells. Stem cell regeneration is not possible with any topical application. But why do I recommend such a cream? It's because it's a great moisturizer, it's clean, and also it creates such an environment for your own human stem cells to thrive. But like I always say, skincare is the cherry on top. We have to focus on reversing that aging from the inside out. So let's focus on real human stem cells. The number one hack to releasing as many stem cells into circulation from your bone marrow is high intensity exercise and resistance training to the point where it leaves you sore. That soreness is the very signal that your body needs to start releasing those stem cells into circulation. They start migrating into your bone, into your muscle, and even into your skin. They start repairing and strengthening your tissues. So now that they're released, they are most active during periods of deep sleep. Fragmented or shallow sleep will dramatically reduce their activity. Listen, the more I make these videos, I feel like it always goes back to sleep. So we keep talking about beauty, we keep talking about skincare, we talk about so many things, you know, mitochondrial function, collagen, you name it. At the end of the day, it's all about creating the environment for your body to create that repair, and repair only happens in deep sleep. Bottom line. And that's exactly why a late night shows up on your face the next morning. Think about it. So while those stem cells are highly active during REM sleep and deep sleep, they are severely suppressed during high periods of stress. And we can continue to blame that chronic cortisol release for that. So if you truly want to reverse wrinkles, if you want to age your very best, stop asking me about the most powerful cream. I still see this in my comments. Start learning the best deep breathing techniques, how to meditate or pray, anything that brings you that soothing sense of calm 
and deep sleep that is step one to longevity and age reversal all other tools are secondary let's get to my favorite topic diet and nutrition this is where nature gives us real power certain food compounds have been clinically shown to mobilize those stem cells blue green algae stimulates stem cell release Sea buckthorn berry helps increase their circulation. Ginseng helps their proliferation in the bone marrow. Mushrooms help with their proliferation and immune modulation. And then we have polyphenols, which reduce systemic inflammation, creating an environment within which those stem cells can thrive. What's just as important as what you eat is when you eat and how often. By this, I'm referring to intermittent fasting. Fasting and caloric restriction play a huge role in intestinal and immune system stem cells. Essentially, when you create those additional controlled stressors on the body, so earlier we talked about exercise and now we're talking about fasting, that is a stressor that signals to the body that repair is needed and it starts releasing those stem cells into circulation and i have to say this every time you can be doing all the right things and then cancel out your efforts with these i have to figure out a name for them let's call them aging promoters <laughs> but they're essentially relative to this video they're your stem cell killers and that's cigarette smoking alcohol consumption sugar environmental toxins and chronic inflammation so five so those are the five agers they directly impair your stem cell release. Now, the big question, can stem cells reverse aging? And this is where the science gets fascinating. Studies have shown when we increase circulating stem cells, damaged tissues repair faster, meaning bone density improves, which is a big sign of aging. We get that bone resorption, we shrink, we tighten up, we get smaller, our tissues get looser. So enhanced bone density automatically means age reversal. Secondly, your muscle mass is preserved. That means less sarcopenia with age. Your skin will show increased collagen and elastin and your immune system rejuvenates. And that is important. That is your defense system against infections, disease, and all these things that will age us and break us down. One study in mice even showed muscle regeneration to a youthful state. In human studies, fasting cycles have regenerated immune stem cells after chemotherapy. This does not mean that stem cells make you immortal, but it very clearly shows us that by supporting their function and enhanced circulation, stem cells can keep us younger longer. Let's put this all together. Here is the blueprint. Number one, move. Do those high intensity exercises. They don't have to be hours long. Actually, it's not good to have them hours long. Have short bursts of high intensity exercise and resistance training to the point where you're sore two to three times a week. I've made the hard choice not to take sponsorships while others can earn six figures for a single video. I've chosen to remain unbiased. I've left Corporate America to be the consumer's guide with my loyalty to you and not the brand. To keep doing what I love, I absolutely need the support of this community. Become a VIP member on thebeautydoctrine.com or a paid member here on YouTube. And help keep me bringing you the truth about how to age your very best from the inside out and outside in. Let's get back to our video. Number two, prioritize your sleep. It needs to be uninterrupted deep sleep. And I have a video about beauty sleep. So I will link that up so you can optimize that because that is when those stem cells are highly active and highly in circulation to trigger all those repair mechanisms. Number three is your plate. So those blueberries, pomegranates, uh, blue and green algae, mushrooms, turmeric all these things that are gonna be anti-inflammatory and also they help promote your stem cells and the environment within which stem cells can circulate are going to be paramount in this process. And I can't talk about food without supplements. I will link up my favorite supplements that help this process. Four is intermittent fasting. Fast once or twice a week and I have videos about that as well. And lastly, calm things down you got to protect those stem cells by reducing your stress and managing it. Let's close with this. It's so much easier to believe that youth is in a jar or it can be easily attained or fixed with that injection or that filler. But the bottom line is that that's not true. A lot of those things 
speed up your aging because you're introducing toxins, harmful chemicals to your body, what you do on a daily basis. It's that consistent routine that's going to help put these stem cells into circulation or fix your mitochondria or boost your collagen, you name it. The more I research, the clearer it becomes that that lifestyle is what's gonna get us there. It's really just about identifying those key chemicals, polyphenols, antioxidants, and so on that are gonna help get us there faster. But bottom line, what you put on your plate, how well you rest, how much exercise you get are the true fountain of youth. Don't forget to subscribe for more functional beauty tips. Until the next video, be well, be safe, be beautiful, take care.